Good morning! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas from Rednecks Gone Wild! That's right, folks. Um, Thank you for watching the cooking videos and all the other videos. We're very appreciative of yeah, that. Yeah, we've been getting a lot of feedback on the cooking videos, and uh, you've asked for more. So, on this Christmas morning, we're going to make a chocolate pecan pie. Now this is a recipe that I have grown up with folks. Every Christmas we've had a chocolate pecan pie. And Thanksgiving. And she makes it the best. Now, um, you want to tell us what's all, what's okay. the, just read the uh, recipe for us. These are the ingredients. Okay. We have two eggs, two eggs. slightly yep. beaten. Slightly beaten. One cup of Caro syrup, and right. if you're lucky enough to get the Caro, it gives you a uh, a level indicator. A level indicator, so I know let me, let me that I on have that. one cup here. Okay, right there on the side of it. Right there. It shows it says you one cup. All right, so, it so it's a measure. I can use. It's got a built-in measuring for two pies. All right. An eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, you got some salt there. Which is right there. Yep, that's what you're One doing. cup of pecans, and these are whole okay. uh, halves, but it doesn't matter if you have halves or if you have pieces. Okay, or whatever. Pieces, it doesn't matter. You're using I halves. just happen to have halves because okay. they were on sale. All right. A teaspoon of vanilla. Vanilla extract. And a cup of sugar. All right. Two, you got some butter there. Two tablespoons of uh, butter or margarine. Butter or margarine. And I see that you also you need got some, some squares of chocolate. Yeah. Unsweetened. Baker's is what I happen to have. Okay. I get whatever's on sale. All right. And I need a little bit of all-purpose flour. That's right. Well, I'm zoom. I'm we're seeing it. We can. See, you don't have to pick it up. I can okay. see it. Okay. Then I have a deep dish pie shell. You got a pie shell. That's thawing out. Okay. Because I cannot make pie shells. Oh. I've tried and tried in the past and just gave up on it. Okay, so this just buy This is only a dollar on sale, buy it from so the, it's not but, worth it. But, but, but I just, but just bought that from the store like that. Right. Okay. Not worth killing myself. Right, I agree. Okay. So now, what dishes do you got set up here? I have some you got a small measuring spoons. Okay. A little. Rubber spat rubber spatula that's flexible. Uh -huh. And my egg beater. Right. My little cheap egg beater. Right. And a small bowl. Right. Because I'm gonna have to what I'm gonna have to do first is melt the chocolate and the margarine. Together? And it, right. Okay. And to do that. You got a big you 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 missed the big bowl over there. There's a giant Yep, here's a big bowl to mix everything in. Okay. And here's some extra pie shell tins. Okay. Because when you pick up a pie shell, if it's heavy, especially pumpkin, it will collapse on you. Okay, so, so you I need something a little extra, heavier. An extra tin underneath each pie. For, that I for stability. Stability. Make it more and sturdy. When you get somewhere with your pie. Yeah. You have an extra tin to leave them some leftovers oh. and take some home. Right, you okay. Gotcha. This goes on the very top of the crust. What it is. You want to show us how you. you a show pie, us that? It's a pie. To keep the crust from burning. It's a tin that I got. I right. took scissors. Well, show us on the crust how you do it. I will, but I take the scissors. Okay. And cut off we know, just we, the we rim. Tell, we okay? can tell what you did there. You cut this the, is folded the over, and shell. this isn't. Or the rim of a pie tin. Right. And this okay. goes over the top of the crust. Yeah. So that when you're baking it, oops, it's getting warped. Well. When you're baking it, it will not get so dark brown around so the crust. So you don't overcook your crust. Yeah. Otherwise, sometimes it gets too dark. Yeah. And For our oven, at least. Yeah. So that so that protects it from getting this too goes on overcooked. The top. Okay, that's a good tip. Yeah, I learned that probably from Rachel Ray. I don't know. I doubt it. I I, I learned a lot You've of tips. You've probably been from. doing doing that by. Well, they sell stuff like well, what, that. But what, why? What's the deal with the peanuts? 
Oh yeah. Well, there's you, nothing in, in them. <laughs> I know. It's you ate. Empty. You ate. You really love peanuts that much. You ate the whole. You even ate it. Ate the bottom of the can. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I didn't. But anyway, we'll get to that, uh, folks, later. This you will see how I use this. Yeah. If that's you a have, uh, that's a very special uh, special tool to. To, to help to do, the pie because I was having some yeah. trouble. We'll we'll show you that here. You're gonna need one of and those. You need to make sure you get both of the sides out, and it does yeah. not have to be. And be careful that you don't have any sharp edges. Right. And you, you know. It does not have to be a peanut can like this. It has to be the approximate size. Right. But it has to have two openings. Two openings. And I didn't have anything, so I made just one. A, you just need a cylinder about that size. Right. Okay. That has some stability to it. it can't, you can't just make it out of paper. All right, now I need two tablespoons of margarine. Yeah, uh, yeah. well, two tablespoons I'll of margarine. Use, I'll use that. Okay. And on here, there's a measure on each one of these. It shows you right. See how it got cut crooked though? Yeah. So, cut it crooked again. And it'll be even. And it's still a little bit frozen. Uh oh. Because yeah. I haven't been. You want me to cut it for you? Let me do it for you. I got it. Yeah. Okay. But it's crooked again. I don't know. I'd be alright. So, no. We're well, a little crooked too. I'll, uh, I'll uh, cut the bottom part of it off. Put it in. Folks, y'all keep in mind it's 6 o'clock in the morning. We just woke up for Christmas morning. Uh, <laughs> so. There, this, this, this is a non-drinking video, kind of a drowsy, trying to get woke up video, huh? Right. So. Well, I've been awake since four something. Uh, I've been, I've been awake. But I've been laying there watching the movie. Sleep, but I couldn't. Okay, now cut this in, into uh, a couple of pieces so that you. Yeah. Can, Would you can, like me to cut that for you? So it can melt. You want me to cut it for you? Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I, well, that looks like you're having trouble. No, I just need to be the cameraman. I'm having trouble. Now they can see. <laughs> okay. All right, got now that chopped up. I need two squares of chocolate. And two I, squares. I always get confused oh. about this. All right. I think a square, I don't know, I got, I'm going to have to figure it out again. Alright, we'll pause the video. Actually, the while she figures that, know. folks, while she figures that out, folks, I'm going to take the time to give you another redneck tip. Save your peanut cans or your sriracha peas to put your old bacon fat in. And you can also use it for cooking. If you need a little oil or a little grease in a pan, throw a little bit of that in there, and it also adds flavor to whatever you're cooking. That is a redneck tip. Okay, you well, figured it out? One square used to be two pieces together. <clears throat> used to be. The new ones are this. Four squares? Four. Four, four pieces equals two or equals one square. Here, it, it is this frozen also? No. Oh. It needs to be broken though, but well, I don't know. I broke it. Okay, well, keep breaking. Keep breaking. Not, 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 not that. No. <clears throat> Here. All right. You need them broken more? I, that's not really four now. That's really only. What used that's to be four squares. It's, it's two, two. Okay, that should be all right. I I need to I need to have them. Uh, I'll break them even more, but don't get butter all over them, please. Yeah, let me break. I, 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 I didn't realize you needed them broken more. Well, it takes them too long to melt, otherwise. Okay, I, I just well, I can wash the butter off my hands, I guess. Those are pretty God, tough. Knife. Yes, they are. You gotta have some strong hands to do that. Now okay. I'm gonna pause the video while I wash my. Well, you. I need well, to wash my hands. Wait a minute. I got chocolate just, on my fingers. Just finger. wait a minute, and then you can go. Okay, I'm gonna cover this 
with a paper towel and put it in the microwave. Okay. And I'm gonna check it every 30 seconds. Okay, you're just gonna do it a little bit at a time. It's melted. Make sure it doesn't overdo and burn. Well, I don't want it too hot because I gotta put eggs in it. Okay. Okay. Now, now I can wash my hands. I'll be right back, folks. Okay, I'm gonna check it and see if it's melted enough. No, absolutely not. Nope, not yet. No, not yet. All right. Okay. I Give never... it another 30 seconds. Yep. All right. And repeat this until it's ready. Now, it's recording now. You, you don't want it boiling because you got to put eggs in. You just want it melted. You don't want them to cook the eggs right away. Okay. You check your recipe. <laughs> Okay, you're going to mix all the ingredients. All right, so in the big bowl. What you can do is put your sugar in. Why don't you put your bowl in the center of the stove so we can uh, watch you. Because it's not convenient. Well, it's, the, it's a video. You should, everything should be centered. I mean, Rachel Ray doesn't do all her stuff on the side of the show. You know. Yeah, well, I'm not Rachel Ray. It's well, we want to be able noticed. to see it. We don't want to. We don't want you everything to be. You don't want to see you working over now, there. This takes a while to empty because. Yeah. It's uh, thick. Thick syrup. Yeah, you could have put it in a thing of hot water and let it sit and warm up a little bit. It probably would have flowed easier. I don't want stuff hot because of the eggs. Oh, that's right. Okay, you want me to check this? Yeah. Butter's melted, chocolate ain't. Okay. Touch. But butter's not completely melted. Okay, do it again. Cover it up. Make sure it's covered good. It's covered. 30 seconds? Yep. Okay. Here, I'll hold that if you want to pour some other stuff in. You add the pecans at the very end of everything. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Do we have to have every drop of this? Not every drop, but just try to do the best you can. Well, I mean, how long do you want me to sit here and hold this thing? It's going to run for, for hours. That's good enough. That's good enough. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Right, so we put a couple eggs in there. Check the and with the sugar and the caro syrup. Does that that's light caro syrup, right? Light syrup? Light corn syrup. Alright. Now I think your chocolate, your butter's melted. I can smell the chocolate. Be careful. You might be able to smell it, but that doesn't mean What does it look like? You put it way over there again, okay. away from the camera. I keep having to move the camera to show everybody everything. This is not quite melted right here. No. Nope. Stir it up a little no. bit. One side of the oven cooks. The microwave, you mean? Of the microwave cooks a little. You should be using that other one that turns around in a circle. Yeah, well, then you'd have a real good time trying to get to it with the camera, wouldn't you? Yeah, whatever. All right. So that was on that side. So I'm going to try to put back in. And it's getting too so hot. So you're going I'm to. Uh, happy with that. But. So you're going to. Uh, Warm it up a little bit more. Put it back in. Alright. But I turned it around. I should have probably turned it around the first. Probably should have stirred it up a little bit each time, huh? I'm doing 15 this time. 15 seconds? See Give it 15 push ups. Okay. Uh, now I'm just going to beat the eggs a slightly. On top, you're not even putting the beaters down into the. Not right this second. I'm okay. Not. All right. Into the uh, whole mixture, just beat. You're just kind of mixing the eggs with the caro syrup. Right. And not the sugar. Right. Okay. How's that looking over there? It seems to be getting better. Finally done. All right. Yeah. What are you gonna do next? Some, uh, pour that in there. Oh, 
Okay. The eggs are in there, the carol syrup. Oh, let's put a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of salt. An well, eighth of a teaspoon. Oh, whoa. A whole teaspoon. Wow, you we, about messed up, huh? We don't even have an eighth of a teaspoon. We have a quarter. <laughs> and always, I never do this over the mixture. How do you do an eighth of a teaspoon? A half. There's nothing that measures it, huh? You have to do It's a just half. a pinch. An eighth of a teaspoon is like a pinch. And Show never, it to them. Uh, okay. That's about an eighth. A half Hold of, on, of it's a not, quarter. It's, it don't like to focus on that. It's, it's a half of a quarter of a teaspoon. All right, there you go. And you never do it over your mixture. Because you'll spill too because, much in there? Yeah, because yeah. salt always seems to come out. All right. What about your vanilla? What you want. That's what I'm looking at. All right. Just look at it. A teaspoon of vanilla. There it is, folks. Just look at it. Which is? <laughs> Would you look at it? Right here. Just look at it. There. <laughs> this happens to be Watkins. It don't matter. I buy what's on sale. Honey. Did you look at it? Did you look at it, everybody? Just look at it. Okay. There Mom, you. tell them to look at it. Look at it, guys. There you go. Look how beautiful that just is. Just look at it. Tell them. Just See, look at it. Just look at it. <laughs> just look at it. For those of you who have no idea what we're talking about, it's a Bassmaster uh, reference. Just look at it. It's beautiful. Just look at it. Right. Would you just look at that? Now I'm going to use the same measuring cup. I don't like to use too many dishes if I don't have to. Just measure out some pecans? Put out a cup of pecans. Well, how many? One cup? A cup. A cup, okay. About right. a cup. That's all right. You can put in a little more, but... Well. About a cup. Mm -hmm. right. Okay. Okay. I want to make sure I got everything. Back to the recipe. In. I gotta put this. Put your. Uh, put this in now. Chocolate and your butter in there. Right. I use my little spatula to do that. Okay. We should have some Christmas music playing. Yeah, we should. Oh well. You could put the TV on. They got all. Christmas stuff going no, on. No, no, I won't want that. I'd like to have control over what I hear, not what the network wants to play. Just think in your head, jingle bells, jingle bells. Well, let's sing. I'm not singing. <clears throat> jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Jingle. jingle all we might get in trouble way. for singing a yeah. copyrighted song. Okay, we better not sing oh, anymore. Better not. Yeah, we better not. Okay, now all I'm right. going to mix stuff together. And I'm on the low speed. Supposed to be slightly beaten eggs, but I don't know that they're still slightly beaten. Uh, I don't think so. They're stirred, they're mixed up, that's for sure, with all the chocolate and butter. Okay, now before I continue, I'm going to reread the recipe okay. and double check that I put everything in supposed to be in. Two eggs, a cup of carrot syrup, an eighth of a teaspoon of salt. The pecans are going to go in in a minute. Vanilla. Flour. Sugar. Not yet. No. Uh, margarine and chocolate. Okay, everything is in. You got everything. Now this is going to drip. Yeah. When you take it off the... So let's let it drip. Let's drip it into your pecans. Over here. She said she did that, folks. She just laid that right there into her bowl of pecans. So, no, uh, my bowl of oh, that's not the pecans. That's the chocolate. Oh, that's okay. That's the butter. Uh, okay. And butter mixed. All right. I thought you were putting it in the pecans, so it would drip okay, into you. Okay. Now you're gonna see what happens here. Now let's see what happens okay, here. Okay. This goes in the middle of the pie tin. The reason I use this is because, for some reason. The pie is always too cooked on the ends and soggy in the middle. Okay. So 
this has to stay got a piece of tin sticking out here okay this has to stay in here while I dump some of this but you got to hold it otherwise it's going to move so you want it to stay in the oh, center what's the matter with me I didn't have the pot shell there <laughs> Oh, you gotta put the pie I'm shell. I'm still asleep, I guess. Yeah, you're you about gotta... to just put that in the pie tin like that. I know. Folks, I can't, don't do that. Don't do that. Make sure you get your pie shell. This is the, this is why. There. <laughs> you weren't even making a pie. You were about to make pudding. I was about to screw up. Yep. Okay. So now, now put that about in the pour, center. I'm make sure pour, you got it in the center. Pour around. Right. Okay. Pour around it. For now. Right. All right, that's enough. Okay, just half of it or, or something? Well, not quite half. Not quite half? A lot of it. All right. Uh, just leave enough to fill the middle because it's, it's going to spread. Okay. And you All don't right. really want it in there, do you? No, not You're right now. You're trying to keep that from going in there. Okay. Not right now. Okay. What I'm going to do right now is put a couple of tablespoons of of what? Flour. And the rest of it. And the rest of it to pour it in the middle. That helps it to cook oh. more solid in the middle. Okay. This is a pretty complicated. Well, I had thing. to figure this out because I tried three eggs and that didn't work. Yeah. So I'm on the wrong side again. Sorry, y'all. Okay, somehow. So, how much flour again? I put two heaping tablespoons. Okay, in here. go ahead and stir that up. Let it get thick. Stir it up. It's not going to get thick till. Oh. Well, the flour surely has made it a little thicker. Not really. Not really. Okay, so you just thoroughly mix that in. Stir it real good because you don't want to have white stuff sticking out in the middle of the pie. Right. And then that goes down the middle of that right. peanut can? Yep. Okay. Okay. We're ready. Okay. Put that in there like that. So now what's in the middle of the pie has the flour in it and the rest of it doesn't. That helps the. That's going to help it solidify in the middle and not be all burnt and crunchy on the sides. Okay. Now, oh, so now you take that out? You take that out. And you got. Ah, I see what you've done there. You got something to lick. Ah, I wouldn't be licking it because it could cut your tongue. Folks, don't be licking that can. It's sharp. It, you can cut your tongue. It's not sharp. It's well, one spot is now. Their can might be sharp. Yeah, their can might be sharp. Whatever can they're using. Be and careful I, with that finger in there. I wash It's like licking it. well, a knife. The top part is the part that has the problem. Oh, okay. I checked You're scaring me. I don't want to hurt myself either. Okay. Don't do that. We don't want to go to no hospital this morning and have your finger sewn back on. Mmm, yum. What? We missed all that. That's the best part of it, huh? Look at what she's doing, folks. She's digging it all out with her fingers. Well, you can't throw it out. <laughs> no, yes, you can. You're diabetic. I know, but I'm just having oh, to lick. Oh, Lord. It's a lick, that's all. Just a lick. Just a little bit. You gotta rinse this out. Rinse it out? Pretty quick, otherwise it's gonna harden in there and... You'll have to get another can next year. Wouldn't this taste good with a little whiskey in it? Probably. Ooh, I bet it would. You want to try it? No. No? Damn. It's already mixed, isn't it? That's why. I think a little bit of whiskey would be good with those pecans. Mmm. Okay, that's good enough for now. Some buttery whiskey. Like like uh, butterscotch, uh, butterscotch whiskey. Ooh, it would taste like butter pecan pie. All right, butter pecan chocolate. Chocolate butter pecan pie. Finish scraping that. The rest of that in I there. Put in the pecans. All right. Just clean your pan or bowl, uh, your mixing bowl out into your pie shell. This is 
like so. This is my daughter's favorite, and every year her birthday's around Thanksgiving. Well, we didn't see it. They don't need to know that. I make her one of these, so I usually make two a year. Don't tell nobody's birthdays. For security reasons, we don't need. We don't need to know. Nobody needs to know nobody's birthdays or ages, or addresses or names. No names. You can. I'll tell you my name. I ain't scared of that. But the other people in my family, they want their privacy, and I understand that. So we'll give it to them, and we're gonna give them a pie. <laughs> Now, they're gonna love that. I have to wash this spatula again. Oh, you've been licking it. Yep. Jeez. And I'm gonna put the pecans in, and it'll be ready to cook. They can barely hear you over that water, I think. She's gonna put the pecans in next, folks. Put in the pecans, and it'll be ready All to right. cook. Let's see how you do that. Usually, if I wasn't going to do the middle, I would just do it. Just dump them all in? Spread them out a little? You having problems? Yeah. You booby trapped yourself over there it, with it, all those things. If I had the energy, if my back wasn't bad, guess what I'd do? I'd turn them all around so they yeah. would be nice side up. And, Speaking of backs. And prettier. But It's a little sore. So my back getting a little sore standing here like this. No, mine too. And it, it was already hurting when it got up. This morning. Speaking of backs, folks, since I've lost so much weight, my back hasn't bothered me as much as it used to, and I've been more active. I've been able to do more things. Mm -hmm. So I encourage each and every one of you, if you have a problem with your weight, do whatever it takes to lower your weight some. I'm down to 258. 0.8 pounds as of this morning's movement <laughs> you got to weigh yourself after you take your crap yep. yep okay these are pretty much centered now <laughs> so, here we are making a pine I'm talking about shitting mm -hmm. Not too good. that's a redneck for you folks yep okay this part is done that's done okay I'm going to now bake gonna... this at, tell you that, bake it at 400 for 15 minutes. Okay. Then you reduce the heat to 350. All right. And bake it for 30 to 35 minutes. Wow. At what point do you use your special? Uh, I'm going to put special... that on now before, oh. I, well, oh. before I put it in the oven. Okay. I'm not putting it in the that oven. That looks right a little now. small. They don't, they're the same. It's folded in half. Why do you have so many of them? Because sometimes I used to make three pies, but oh. today I'm only making two. Two? Yeah. What else are you making? Uh, pumpkin. Pumpkin? Yeah. Folks, do y'all want to see how to make a pumpkin pie in another video? If you do, give us a thumbs up and tell us in the comments below if you want to see how to make a pumpkin pie. I'll, I'll, uh... We don't care if they want to or not. We're making it. Anyway. Well, we gotta make it, huh? Yeah. So we, we, we won't, we'll, it, folks, by the time that y'all see this video and are, and comment, it will have already been ate, made and eaten already, so. That's true. P but please give us the thumbs up in the comments if you want to see how to make pumpkin pie. I might have to take a break and record that after a while or something because my back is killing me. Go sit down for me. No, I, I, cameraman has to stand up. He can't sit down. Take the stool. I need one of them tall director's chairs that allows me to still see it out of the camera. Yeah. Yep. So what are you doing now? Are you cleaning the bowl? I'm trying to clean this pan Clean up. the bowl. This bowl. So uh, we need it to go in the oven. Oh, you, well, we, we already told them how, how long to cook it, right, and all that. We'll yeah, show you I'm how. I'm going to put them both in the oven at the same time. Okay. I don't want the oven to be on. All right. Well, that's. Otherwise... We'll show you the finished product, folks. Whenever the peak on uh, chocolate pecan pie is done. Thanks for watching. And I shouldn't say goodbye yet because I guess we, Are you gonna do the this? end of that video will be 
the pecan pie, the taking it out of the oven. So stay tuned, folks. We're going to cook it now. Folks, you missed one important. We're going to preheat the oven. Pre preheat the oven up, up to how much was it again? 400. 400. Okay. Pre go ahead and preheat your oven, folks, before you put your pie in there. Folks, the chocolate pecan pie is ready. Ready to come out. Coming out of the oven now. Let's take a look at that. There we go. Hold on. Set her down here and we'll turn the light on so they can see. Would you just look at it? Yeah. Mm, that looks delicious. Pretty good. Pretty good. It's hot. All right, folks. Thanks for watching this episode of Cooking with Redneck Mama. That is chocolate pecan pie. Right. Enjoy. And Happy New Year. <laughs>